for many years I've had a, what I call a funny heartbeat, which in medical terms is irregular. Anyway, I got up and he saw me, he says, I've run doctor. He says, right, I'll take you up since you're in today. And I got to surgery, the doctor took one look at me. She says, I want you in hospital now. And uh, Abbott says, I'll go up with him. And he did all paperwork and everything that the doctor had filled out. And he came visiting me quite often. And he's brought me tea and a. When I was discharged and came home, I couldn't do anything, I was no confidence, all gone, and I was still inflated a little bit, if that's what you want to call it, and he says, I'll take you out and about shopping, so he has done ever since. It was, it was a, bit of a, a bit of a surprise for me, yeah. Uh, my mum and dad have always brought us up to basically, you know, look after your neighbours, look out for people. Uh, my mother passed away the, this year, and I just want to, make her proud, taking care of Raymond, because um, she loved him. <laughs> you know, I'll always check in on Raymond. If he needs anything, I'll do it on the, at the same time. Um, and, and just basically make sure he's taken care of. Just try to do the best I can, that's all. It'd be nice, but in, in terms of, I think, I believe, I mean, I don't do as much as, there's other people out there who do so much more, and I, stand beneath all them to be honest with you um, that's how I feel it'd be nice if I did win the award it'd be very nice it would it would be very nice because when he takes me shopping like to Asda and Marks and Spencer's I say do you want anything he says no thank you I was very surprised I had no idea who was nominating me for an award um, and I think just really honoured and I feel that there's so so many people around actually who could get awards who are great great neighbours so I feel yeah very humbled to be to be nominated myself. I started Shine um, about 12 years ago and I've lived in West Bowling for about 17 years and West Bowling is one of those areas that people don't speak very highly of, but I know that there's fantastic people around here, but, but lots of needs and challenges as well. Um, and so just started in a very small way, listened to the community, tried to do some things that they said that they felt they needed in the community. And from there, Shine has developed and developed. So we get about 250 people that we help each week. And it's really listening to our neighbors, trying to find out what's needed. So during COVID, what was needed, but now during this cost of living crisis, what, what practical things can we do to help? So like raising money for thermos flasks or hot water bottles or helping giving low cost food out that's just gonna make a difference to, to my neighbours. Um, complete amazement, I think. Um, but yeah, a huge sense of privilege that I have been, I guess the little things that I try to do each day to help people around me have just been noticed. Um, and and to just to see that, it would just be a huge privilege and honour, an honour to be a good neighbour in Bradford when there are so many good neighbours here. <laughs>